we're going to do an intermediate kicking video. I talked to some people that have kicked at all different levels, that are in the pros, that are in college, people that are coming up, some junior high kids, high school kids, and what a lot of questions are is how do I use this to improve my kicking? You know, we know what this will do for soccer, we know what it will do for basketball, football, baseball, we know for all the sports, but for somebody that's specializing in a kicking situation, what we need to do is show you how to do a couple of drills. It's not much unlike what we do for other training because what you're going to see is basically we're going to load on the glutes and hams and speed and acceleration of the leg through the ball. And a lot of the drills we're doing that build all these areas are going to help you achieve quicker explosion through the leg, through the drive leg. That's either on your kickoffs, that's either on your field goals, or on your punting game. All right. So first what I want you to do is take a look at the bands. We basically have two leg straps and then two sets of bands. The two sets of bands are going to be pretty moderate tension, okay? But it allows you to go through the range of motion that we want you to go through. There will be a strap on the back, there will be a strap on the front, so there will be no slipping. So when you go through your kicks, you don't have to worry about the bands adjusting while you're trying to kick. What I want to do is show you how to put those on. So you have D-rings here on both of the legs. And on both of these, come on over here with me for a second. Right over here. You're going to see me put this down here. You're going to have two miles training stickers here on the front. You're going to hook it up to the back. You're going to hook it up to the front. And then you're going to take the one with the MY, and you're going to put it above this leg, above the knee, about an inch. Okay? You're going to roll it over, and you'll be ready to go on that leg. Pull this leg over. Roll it, roll it, and put it right back, and then you're just going to clip it together. One of the things I want you to do is always maintain tension on the bands. Don't let them control you, you control the bands. So basically, I've got the bands on. You've got one in the front, you've got one in the back. So when you go through your kicking motion, do some of the drills that we're doing, you just go and do the normal lunges, step ups, do the side winders. You do basically the, uh, uh, you're going to do some walking uh, soldiers. You're going to do some bird feeders. And we'll do a couple of other drills that might work for helping your kicking. One of the easy ones that we can do is we can go through, everybody knows how to do a lunge. And we want to make sure you do a lunge properly. So what we do is just basically step forward where the nose is over the toes and the butt is over the heel. So you're coming down and doing a walking lunge. You're getting tension and you're using stabilizer muscles while you're doing each one of these lunges. Okay? All right. Then you come up. You do about 15 of those in each set. Then what you can do is some side strides. So you get in here and you're stepping and using those hips, strengthening those hips, stepping across. Okay. Now notice when I'm doing this, that when I do my side stride, I step, I bring this foot back to shoulder length apart, step, shoulder length apart, step, shoulder length apart, step, shoulder length apart. Okay. I don't want you guys bringing your feet together, over, together. That does nothing because you're releasing the tension. I want tension on there the whole time. All right? So you do the side strides. You come back, and then you can do reverse lunges. So you're stepping and up. Stepping and up. Step and up. Step and up. All right? So now. We're just getting warmed up. We're doing kind of an active stretch with all this. And this is stuff that you can do before you kick, before you go out and practice kicking. Because we're going to loosen up all the areas that we reduce the risk of having energies or injuries, such as groin pulls, hamstring pulls, quad hip flexor pulls, lower ab pulls. So now we do like a 10 soldier. So when we're doing a 10 soldier, you can mimic coming up on the toe, right over on here. And bringing that foot up and giving it a half hold. So you're walking. Okay. 
All right, and then we turn around and we'll do bird feeders coming back. So you're going to do a step, touch, and down. Keeping the back leg straight, keeping your plant leg straight. There's no bending, no bending of the legs, okay? So you're coming down, straight, straight, without turning the hips. We don't want it from the back side. We don't want to see the hips going sideways. We want them straight ahead, all right? So come on over here. We have BOSU ball. And I kind of believe in working on unstable surfaces, if you can, if you get an opportunity. So what I'm looking at on this is when you're stepping and you're bringing the back leg up, you're stepping on an unstable surface, your hips are working, and then you're bringing that leg up and then down, okay? So you can kind of work on that up and down. Stability. When we talk about working with the bands and what we're trying to achieve with that, we're trying to achieve uh, basically greater strength and acceleration, but we definitely want to reduce the injury. So when you come up on the BOSU ball, you're basically, you're, all your muscles are working in your lower legs to adjust to bring that up. So you're getting a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, stability going in the ankles and the lower leg and the plant leg, and you're getting them going all the way up through into the hips. Now, one of the things that I want to make sure, kind of stop for a second, I want you to remember that what you do for the right leg, you do for the left leg. And it's not about just doing anything, everything straight forward. We're not looking for everything straight forward. Or when you're coming through and then kind of you're trying to kick. We want to do the total package, the total core, the total hip structure, along with the hamstrings, quads, hip flexors, lower abs, glutes, and hams, and quads. So move over here. And then we go on to a stable surface where you can stack up and if you have something that's great uh, where you can stack different heights of a step up, we come in here and then using this back leg and pulling it through and coming back down. And then stepping and then pulling that leg through and down. So what we're doing is here and here. Bring it through, drive it through, drive it through. Okay? So what you're seeing here is I've actually, we're in an aerobics room here and I'm kind of shooting the video, but what I want to do is give you a couple different ideas. You always try to uh, adapt to your location on how you can work out and use some of the equipment around you. Generally when we're outside, we're at the track and we use some uh, hurdles and we use basically the low level hurdles and then we do some drills. But all this is working the lower abs, the hip flexors, working those glutes and hams. So what we do is we have a plant foot over here. If you want to come to the angle just a little bit, see where I'm at. You have like a right foot plant, and then we're bringing the leg over, and we're not slinging it over. We don't do gun slinging here. We don't sling it. We control our movement, which is what I want you to do on all the movements at this point. When you're beginning, I want you to kind of come along and slowly do the repetition, repetitions we're asking you to do. So plant, bring the leg up and over, and then bring it up and over, okay? Now you're going to do that with the right leg 10 times, then you're going to do it with the left leg, bring it up and over, okay? Okay, I don't want you slinging, I don't want to see the hips turning. I want your hips straight, and I want you to control the movement. I want you to control hips straight, up and down, up and down, okay?